What's up everybody, Tricks Gaming YT back here with another Mobile Legends video and today I'm coming at you guys with how to never lose in Mobile Legends, okay? And this is this is a um this is a topic that a lot of people ask me about like, "Oh, I, we keep losing or I keep losing." When at the end of the day, um it really comes down to who you're playing with and it comes down to your team. Now, everybody gets those games where the, the team chemistry is just way off and there's absolutely no way that you guys can win. Like you guys just you guys just don't play well as a team. But then you get those matches when you play great with these people and you decide to like you decide to add them do whatever you're gonna do just cuz you play good with them so um, I'm gonna give you guys my tips I'm gonna give you guys what I do in order not to lose and um, I'm not the best when it comes to mobile legends don't get me wrong and a lot of the stuff that I uh, a lot of the tips that I give you sometimes I don't even follow myself so let's move on to the first one which is always adjust to your team like you always get those people in the beginning they auto lock their character they're just like oh let me just auto lock my character so I make sure that I'm the first one to get them but let, I'm telling you guys now that's not the way to go about things like you don't want to auto lock your character you always want to make sure that your team has balance and when I say balance I mean like there's a balance between ADCs I mean there's a balance between durability there's a balance between basically everything that you guys got going on as you guys can see that I almost freaking died I'm, I barely made it out of there but um you always want to make sure that there's a balance between the whole team in general and it's usually the team with say let me give you guys an example like the other day I was playing a match and I was using, um, I was planning on using Maya, but we had all three people. Three people came in, they auto locked, and I really wanted to use Maya. Now, I, at first I was like, I was kind of skeptical. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just use her anyway. But then I was like, this is ranked. In ranked, you want to win. Like that's just that's just what you want to do in ranked. You want to freaking win. So I was just like, okay, never mind. Since we already have two ADCs and one mage, let me just go ahead and be a tank. You know, and that's a great example of adjustment. That that's a great example of adjustment. You always want to um you always want to make sure that there's not too much of one thing because say if what if we went there with three ADCs, one mage and one assassin, we would have got our asses wrecked just due to the freaking fact that it's like it's like um you go in, you go into battle, you're playing the character that you want to play, but at the end of the day, you don't win because that was not the right character that you should have been playing. You, I think you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. Okay, now, the second tip that I can give you guys is always play the freaking objective. If you want to move up in the ranks, just play the objective. You know, it's always nice to have like 20... 30,000 kills and stuff and only have zero deaths or whatever but there's is there's no point of having all those kills if you die I mean uh, not if you die if you lose in the end so always make sure that you are playing the objective you are making sure that your towers are guarded you are making sure that um, your crystal tower is protected and everything and that's basically how you win. Like literally, there's no, there's, it's really black and white. There's really no way that, uh, there's really no s certain way where you can win like a hundred percent of the time. Cause you gotta remember that this is an esport, and it all boils down to who you're playing with. Sometimes you just get those crappy ass teammates who just they're just all over the place and they don't want to listen they don't want to uh, listen to strategy or anything so it's really I under I understand that it can be really hard at times to um, go up in the ranks but also with that being said I I kinda can rant about this due to the fact that there's a lot of freaking times when uh, I'm playing and I'll just get crappy teammates and it's to the point where okay so last night I was Grandmaster 4 Yes, I was Grandmaster 4, and I got demoted all the way down to Master 1 today. And I was just thinking, I was like, yo, I, how how do I go from Grandmaster 4 all the way to Grandmaster 1? And it, 
it wasn't even me. It was all my teams. It was just me getting placed with garbage teams. We had we lacked a lot of we lacked chemistry and we were just getting our asses whooped. Saying so, sometimes you just can't help it, but at the same time I'm ranting about it because I really do think that the developers need to take some sort of steps into making uh, rank gameplay more difficult than what it is now because I think that is way too easy to go up in the ranks like let me tell you guys when I got out of freaking warrior right okay who's oh my goodness oh my goodness she just totally interrupted my whole thing but anyways Back, you said, back to what I was saying. I'm sorry about that phone call, guys. But um, back to what I was saying. But we all... Um, when I got out of... Was it Warrior? Was it Elite? It was... Okay, when I got out of Warrior, both Warrior and Elite, it was way too... It was way too easy. Okay? that That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like, it was just too easy to get out of those two ranks. And it's just like, what's the point of having them in the first place? And a, another tip that I, or another um, thing I was gonna say, or a way to fix it, I would, I would say, um, giving people the same rank that they had when the season ended, because if you give the people the same rank, like it won't, it won't be easy to, it won't be easy to where anybody can just boost up there. Yeah, I, I hope you guys are getting what I'm saying. So what, what I'm basically saying is, okay, if I'm Grandmaster and I make it up to Grandmaster, I'm going to stay a Grandmaster until I get demoted all the way down or I get promoted all the way up. No matter what, I'm going to keep my Grandmaster title instead of at the end of the season, they demote me all the way back down and I have to work my way all the way back up. And then with the good players playing with a lot of bad players, sometimes the good players carry the bad players all the way up to the freaking top and then people are wondering oh why the hell why the hell is this dude a freaking epic when he plays like shit you guys understand what i'm saying and it's just it's that type of concept with me it's just like some people are in grandmaster that i i just don't think should be in grandmaster like you're not a grandmaster if you don't understand map awareness like that's that's something so basic and easy. I just freaking snipe Cho. Like that was such a nice kill right there. But it's something it's things like those. Like it's basic, it's easy, it's something that you should automatically know right off the jump. I think they should make it more difficult to go into rank in the first place. I think people should understand the game a little bit more when going into rank. I know at the moment you need five heroes in order to um go into ranks when from my opinion or where my opinion stands i think you should have like 10 12 heroes to go into rank because like on league of legends and i've never really even played league of legends on league of legends you need to be like all the way up there in the levels to even begin ranked and that's what i think should happen here i think that they should make it to where they know for a fact that you have and that you understand the concepts of the game in general and you know what's going on at all freaking times okay but let me that's that's it for my rant let me stop the rant and let me get back to what you can do to improve your game plan to win now another thing another tip that i can give you guys is team fights okay when you need to know your place in team fights if you know that you're a tank you need to be the you need to be at the front lines you need to be up there and you need to be tanking that's just something that you are because you're a tank um another thing oh i'm about to get a i'm about to get a pentakill basically quadrakill pentakill baby pentakill baby Pentakill, ba oh snap, oh I did not get the pentakill, oh that's disgusting, but anyways, you should know your place in freaking team fights, if you know that you're a, uh, if you're an ADC, then you know that you need to be behind the tank, don't try to go in front of the tank, don't try to go anywhere else but behind that tank and shooting over them, That that's end of story. But I really do hope you guys didn't enjoy this tips and tricks video on how not to lose. You just need to 
balance out your teams like if your team if you know that you're going in with like four adcs don't be that dude with an adc get something like a tank or something to support the adcs or whatever and um when it comes to team fights make sure that you know your place and you know what you're responsible for another tip that i can give you guys is make sure you guys play with heroes who fit your play style like don't play with heroes that you just absolutely don't agree with because that's that's going against the game like you play you want to play mobile legends at the end of the day you want to do it to have fun like that's what that's and all in all that's all you want to do and you want to have fun so make sure you play with heroes that you have fun with like me i have fun playing with clint alucard freya those are my favorite heroes whenever some whenever a team needs a tank i always use freya because freya is a hell of a good tank by the way make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you guys like comment and subscribe on this video because i do plan on coming out with a freya montage I probably this weekend. I'm gonna try to get it done this weekend, but uh, I I really do hope you guys enjoy that Freya montage because a lot of people um a lot of people ask me what's my Freya build, things of that sort. Like I'll come out of matches after using Freya, though though everybody will send me friend requests asking me for my Freya build and stuff, and I'm gonna be giving I'm gonna be letting all that go on um most likely this saturday i'm gonna try to come out with my freya montage so everybody can see i'm gonna let you guys know what my build is i'm gonna let you guys know tips and tricks maybe i should just give all in all tips and tricks on a freya freya herself basically but anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you guys did enjoy the little rant that i went on i hope if you are a developer and you're watching this please take my um criticism and consideration when you guys are the um improving the game and all and that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Tricks Gaming YT out.